hi welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber so in this video we're going to talk about the different shipping methods you can use to ship your goods to your desired location over a long distance so let's say you want to ship your goods from china from turkey from Bangladesh, depending on the location these are the different shipping methods that you can use to ship your goods to your desired location so the first method is air courier this is a shipping method that provides door-to-door services so you insert either your home address or your office address and then send the goods to your desired location this is the method that your supplier would use if they are the ones shipping your goods examples of companies that render the services are ups fedex dhl gig and the rest they offer air courier services using this method your goods arrive on time say in two days you can get your goods they are the most expensive air courier shipping method is perfect for people who want their goods delivered immediately or who are in a hurry to receive their goods or for emergency air courier method is perfect for emergencies and then for personal use the second method is air freight this method allows transfer and shipment of goods through an air carrier so this is the method mostly used by people who wants to go for commercial purposes because it takes like a week or two weeks to get your goods delivered to you this method is quite cheaper than the first method the air courier method but then it comes a bit late than the air courier method the air courier method is the fastest followed by the air freight method this method is good for people who ship goods that are of less weight so let's say you want to ship an item of one kg two kg three kg four kg it's advisable to use air freight because although it is expensive but not as expensive as air courier this method is less expensive compared to air courier you will have to pick up the goods yourself they don't offer door-to-door -door services so it's either you pick up the goods yourself or you pay for them to send the goods to your desired location either to your home address or to your office address or you can arrange for someone to help you get your goods delivered to your desired location either using a logistics company or a friend or you can contact the company themselves to help you ship your goods this method is being coated in weight so they weigh your goods and calculate the weight of your goods based on kg and then they usually charge you per kg so let's say you want to ship a goods they'll have to weigh it and tell you the weight of your goods per kg so the third method is sea cargo this is a method of transporting large quantities of products via cargo ships it's been quoted in volumes using this method they calculate the weight of your goods based on the volume of your goods in cubic perimeters. It is the least expensive way to transport high quantities over long distance. When you know that the weight of your goods is very high, it's advisable to use air cargo because it is the least expensive among the three. It takes a longer time. It can take months for your goods to arrive to your location. So you have to be patient. You will have to pick up your goods or you can arrange to have your goods delivered to your home by a secondary mode of transport. So you can either reach out to a logistics company to help you send your goods to your desired location. It takes the longest time to arrive. It is cost efficient. It is the least expensive among the three. And then it is being quoted in volume in cubic meters. It's perfect when you want to ship heavy weights. You say you want to ship fridge or goods that are very heavy weights. So these are the three methods you can use to ship your goods. If you know any other method, just let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you're having challenges, if you're having issues, just let me know in the comment section down below. You can ask your questions. You can check out my previous video on how you can calculate the cost of your goods per kg. The link is going to be down in the description. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Do have an amazing day. Lots of love, all the change. Bye.